Since the end of the transition period, British citizens who want to spend more than 90 days in any rolling 180 day period at a time in Spain and the rest of the Schengen zone will need a long term visa. Aimed primarily at the retired, the 12 month non lucrative visa for Spain is the most likely choice for residents of the UK who want to spend long periods in Spain enjoying the lifestyle but not working there. My name is Mark McMillan and I head the relocation team at Sun Lawyers. We are helping clients navigate the non-lucrative visa application process. Here is a helpful summary of what is involved to ma in making an application. Firstly, you can make the application in the UK, collect the visa from one of the three Spanish consulate offices and then travel to Spain. The application has 12 uh, individual parts which are as follows. The completed visa application form itself, a recent passport size photograph, a valid passport with a minimum validity of one year, a valid UK residence permit for non-British applicants, a clean, clean criminal record certificate from all the countries you've lived in in the last five years, private or public health insurance provision from an approved provider, a medical certificate that provides the, that proves the applicant has no serious disease, Proof of financial means, i.e. bank statements, to show you receive sufficient regular income through pensions, dividends, investments, drawdowns, and combined with savings to meet the requirement of €2,260 per month, which applies to the main applicant plus 565 each for a spouse and additional dependent family members. A new marriage certificate for combining incomes with a spouse, and a birth certificate for dependent children and parents to prove your bond. The visa admin fee form to be paid at the consulate, the non-lucrative visa EX01 application form and payment of the visa fee also settled at the consulate. At the time of recording this, uh, visa applications are taking about three months to process. The visa needs to be collected within a month of being granted and then once in Spain you have one month to obtain uh, your Padron certificate at the local town hall and process the TIE residence card at the immigration office. After a year there's a further application to extend residency for two years and then for a further two years again and after that before a before a permanent resident status is obtained and after 10 years of continuous residence in Spain for Spanish citizenship to become an option. So as you can see it's not a simple set of procedures but it is the same requirement each time which is why more people are asking us to support them with their applications and their TIE appointments in Spain. To find out more simply email admin at sun-lawyers.com and we will get in contact with you Thank you very much.